Ming Wan joins us from outside Washington. He's a professor and associate dean at George Mason University and an expert in Japan-China relations. Uh, professor, the fact this brazen attack happened in a country where gun violence is, is virtually non-existent, and Japan, as you know, already has strict gun laws, was there anything else that can be done? What can Japan do at this point? Yeah, and uh, this was shocking. And as you said, you know, well, Japan has very little gun violence. It's about a dozen a year. And the, about this assassination, and the immediate issue that came out is a sort of security detail or protection for uh, political leaders, including sort of uh, uh, formal leaders. I'm sure they will discuss this issue in the coming days. And I neglected to mention the, the weapon was actually handmade, which makes this even more complicated for Japanese authorities. Uh, let me move on uh, to another mm -hmm. topic. The fact that Abe was assassinated in broad daylight in an mm -hmm. open-air campaign event, do you think that's going to uh, perhaps change how people view these outdoor events and terrify people into not going? Um. It's hard to tell at this point because this is uh, is a, a single uh, incident, and but at the same time, this will be shocking for the Japanese who are used to a very peaceful environment, and uh, and there will be sort of discussion and uh, about uh, uh, how to protect this. So you know, it is likely that uh, uh, in the future there will be greater distance between. Uh, political leaders and the general public, right, which is actually not ideal for democracy. Well, how will Abe be remembered in Japan? What will be his legacy? He was the country's longest serving prime minister. Yeah, and that's that's going to be one of the, uh, the legacy itself, the fact that he was the longest serving prime minister. And you also have to think of the context, right? This is followed after uh, a number of prime ministers that only served one year each. Nobody even remembered their names that we are outside in Japan. So the fact that he served for such a long time, right, and uh, uh, was an achievement in itself. And precisely because he served uh, in his second term for eight years, he could sort of uh, focus on a number of issues, uh, some more successful than others. Um, you know, he pushed Abin, uh, Abin, uh, economics. Uh, economics and uh, uh, um, people debate, you know, how successful that policy is. He certainly pushed that uh, onto the country, and uh, there are some achievement. And uh, but the probably the biggest legacy would be his effort to uh, strengthen Japan's uh, 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 defense capability and made uh, security issue more legitimate. So in a sense that you could argue that. Uh, uh, Japan's post-war pessimism uh, essentially ended during his term. And that's also part of the reason that uh, uh, he was controversial for many in Japan and in some Asian countries like China and South Korea, because they view him as a sort of a, a right-wing uh, 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 politician, although he was uh, welcomed and uh, well, embraced. Well, let me stop you there, because I really do want to expand on his relationship yeah with world leaders on the world stage, regardless of how uh, people might view his policies. At the end of the day, he was a statesman and yeah. met with a number of world leaders, tried to have a relationship with a number of world leaders, including being one of the first to meet and greet Donald Trump once he got into office. Yeah, and uh, he actually was very skilled. And uh, he strengthened relationship with the United States but he also stabilized relations with China. And people probably uh, do not quite recall, right? During the Trump years, actually, the relationship between China and Japan were quite stable uh, compared with the US and China relationship. And during that period, arguably among uh, advanced democracies, uh, only German Chancellor uh, Merkel and Japanese Prime Minister Abe were the steady hands. And that's part of the reason that his reputation increased because he was a steady uh, while so many things seems to be uh, 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 changing so rapidly. All right, we'll leave it there. Professor Ming Wan, thank you very much.